Hey there, fellow travelers. Mark here with Walter's World, and today we're here in Strasbourg, France. And today we're going to talk about are some of the little mistakes that travelers make when they do come here to France. And I know we've got our don'ts of France, and those are more serious don'ts. These are more kind of fun little things that tourists don't notice that they kind of make mistakes on when they come here to beautiful, wonderful, amazing France. And the first mistake I want to bring up is because I'm here in Strasbourg, and the mistake people make is they don't realize how close everything is in France when you're using the TGV trains. I mean, from Strasbourg to Paris, it's like two hours and 15 minutes. From Paris to Bordeaux, it's like two hours on the train. If it's a TGV stop, realize that you can get there very quickly from Paris so you can get out and enjoy and experience way more culture, way more cities, way more regions of France to really get a better feel of the country and the culture because it's a great country and sometimes we kind of get stuck in Paris but the thing is don't make the mistake and think oh it's so far to go down to Bordeaux it's it's too far Strasbourg's over there by Germany I don't want to go to Germany yet look you can get anywhere and you can almost make almost any place almost like a day trip if you start early enough if you do that okay but I do recommend staying longer but hey that's one mistake I do see a lot of people make Another mistake I see a lot of tourists make is they buy all the tchotchke souvenirs. Look, I know you want to get a remembrance, a reminder of your time in Paris. So you want to get your little Eiffel Tower, or maybe you want to get all your friends a handful of, of Eiffel Tower, you know, keychains and stuff like that. It's okay. You want to get the cheap stuff or, or the little stuff like your little handbag that says Paris on it. You can do that. That's totally fine. But I think it's a mistake because what I would say was a better thing to do is pull up all that money you were going to use to buy all those Chatsky little tiny things and buy something that will truly give you a memory of your time in France. So for example, Jocelyn, every time she comes here, she goes and she gets a look, she goes to a boutique, right? Not like a fancy boutique, but we're an artist, we're a dressmaker works and she gets an outfit from them. It's like, oh, this is when I was in Paris. And I went to the shop and I met this lady and we, I got this outfit. Or when I was in Avignon, I was there. And, and you have a story that goes along with that cute little outfit you got that no one else has back home. And that's not just for women. That's for guys as well. One of the things that I do, I, we always go and buy paintings wherever we are. If you go on our painting wall at our house, you'll see some fantastic local artist paintings of Rune, of here in Strasbourg, all kinds of places like that. Because look, it just brought, it brings back that memory. It's more than just a little cheap thing that you throw away after six weeks or six months. It's something that you can enjoy and have a story to go along with. So that's another mistake I see people make. Now, the third mistake I see people make is they leave anything of value in an easily accessible spot. Look, your phone, you don't leave it on the table while you're sitting at an outdoor cafe. People walk by, phew, you don't even notice it's gone. Oh, I'm gonna put it in my jacket pocket, then hang my jacket up or put my jacket on the back of my coat. Don't do that. Oh, I'm just gonna walk sillyly through the metro. Don't do that. Look, I'm not gonna lie to you. France does have a pickpocket problem, okay? So do have a heads up for that, all right? So just don't leave anything easily accessible like on the outer pockets of your backpack. Don't do that. Have it so it's more safe, okay? Now my next one for you is talking loudly. <laughs> Look, France, they're pretty mellow. It's pretty chill here. And you don't hear a lot of like, loud crazy people hear stuff like that like i feel bad doing this video outside when there's nobody around because it's a lot more chill the volume levels here in france are a little bit lower okay so just make sure you're not being super loud especially on the trains because on the trains people are very very chill so you know be respectful keep the voice down remember your inside voice use that when you're here and i know sometimes it's hard because you get so excited like seeing the cathedral here in strasbourg it's gorgeous and the astronomical clock inside oh my god a petit france you can see the different parts of the city so you get really excited and your voice goes up so up and up you gotta work on keeping it down okay now another mistake i think people make is they think that the slow service is meant to piss them off Look, service is just in general a little bit more laissez-faire, a little bit more slow here in France than in other places. Like if you go to Germany or the UK or the US, and I see a lot of tourists get really upset by that. Like, why won't they give me the menu? Why won't they take my order? Where is my, where's my food? Look, they'll get your drink shots you fast enough, don't worry. But don't think that they're targeting you as a tourist. And that's one of the things I'll see tourists are like, oh, it's because we're American. Oh, it's, oh, wir sind Deutsche, deswegen machen sie das. Yeah? And they're like, no, it's not because you're German. It's not because you're American, it's just, it's a little bit slower here, so don't take it personally, okay? That's a big mistake I see tourists make, and they get really upset by it. And another mistake I see tourists make, and this is one I see a lot of US tourists makes and Dutch tourists make, is realize you're gonna make the mistake if you think they're going to split the bill for you. When you go to a restaurant here in France, most of the time they are not gonna split the bill. You know, like, I'll pay for my part and he's gonna pay for this part and she's gonna pay for that part. 
you might find some people do that, but in general, they're like, nah, we don't do that, man. You gotta pay one go. So if you got that cheap friend who never pays or does any of those things, make sure you're like, hey, look, let's keep track of what everybody bought and then you can do it that way, okay? So just have a heads up, because splitting the bill, not a big thing here. Another important mistake that you need to know about is I see tourists make this mistake all the time, and that is thinking you can get a good baguette or croissant in the afternoon. Look, you notice in the morning when you get up and maybe you go for a jog in the morning, you wanna see you know, the town when the sun is coming up, you'll see the lines outside the bakeries buying all the baguettes and buying the, the croissants and stuff like that because they're made super early in the morning. So the ones you get in the afternoon are not the best of the best. And a lot of times the bakeries are already closed. So if you wanna get that great baguette or you wanna get that great croissant, you need to go to the bakery in the morning, okay? You're welcome. Don't make that mistake, okay? Now, when you're out there in the morning crossing the streets to get to the bakery, I think there's another mistake that tourists sometimes make when they're here. And that is thinking French drivers will respect your desire to live. Look, when you're crossing the street here in France, you need to be paying attention all the time. I don't care if it's green. You need to make sure you're still watching because of driving here. I mean, they're not bad drivers. It's just like they like to give a little bijou when they're parking, a little tap here and there. And that is something that tourists need to realize is just because it's your turn to go doesn't mean it's your turn to go. So make sure you're always watching both ways. I know you should do that anyway. But the thing is, I'll see tourists that are gonna go out in the middle of the Champs-Elysees to get a picture of, of the Champs-Elysees or get a picture of the Arc de Triomphe, and they're standing in the middle. I'm like, what are you doing? The driver's gonna go and go and go. You can't do that stuff, okay? Just, just realize that wherever you are, you need to be careful, all right? Now, my next mistake I see tourists make is they don't plan any buffer time in. Look, you may wanna see a lot of different parts of France, but what you have to realize is you gotta plan in some strike time or buffer time or signal malfunction time because a train might be delayed or some service might not be offered or something might happen when you're there and you need to give yourself that buffer time. I see people that are like, oh, we're gonna take the morning train in, get there just in time to grab an RER out the airport in Charles de Gaulle in Paris, and then we'll fly out. I'm like, yeah, you might wanna be careful with that because you never know. I mean, this morning I wanted to buy some stamps for the postcards I'm sending out. Well, guess what? Today only the post office is closed until 1.30, but only today. Every other day it opens at 8.30, but not today. Yesterday, we had a direct train from Bordeaux to Strasbourg. Great little five hour, five and a half hour train ride. It was gonna be perfect. Oh, signal malfunction. It took seven and a half hours to get here. Now, my next mistake I see people make when they come to France is they skip out on the folk and regional museums. Here in Strasbourg, they have the Alsace you know, Museum here, the Alsatian Museum, which goes through the history of Alsace, the region here. And it's an amazing history and you can learn about the culture. You go down to Bordeaux, they got a museum of Aquitaine, that region there. You can really learn a lot from the folk museums here. And a lot of people think when they think of France, it's only the beaux arts, the, the beautiful art galleries that we should check out. No, there's a lot more. Go and learn about the people of France because they are very different throughout the country and learn about those regions. Now, the next mistake I see tourists make is when they go shop they don't treat the shopkeepers like equals. Because I know in some countries, when you go into a store, you expect the shopkeeper to treat you like a god, right? Oh, whatever you want, sir, whatever you want, ma'am. Here, egalité isn't just a word, it's part of the French culture. So when you go into the stores, make sure you're saying bonjour, ça va, ça va, you know, saying hi, doing the greetings. Think of it more as they're your friends or acquaintance than they're your servant kind of thing, okay? Because that's gonna help you have a much better shopping experience when you are here. Now, the next mistake I see tourists make when they come here have to deal with the trains, and that is not pre-booking your TGV train tickets before you go. Look, you can go online and book tickets. Heck, we've bought all of our stuff on the app, when we bought our tickets that way and so you have it there because if you're gonna be going on a Friday night or anytime on a Sunday a lot of times those trains will book out the holidays man if you're coming to France for like the Christmas holidays make sure you're pre-booking all your tickets as soon as possible because they book out and then if you don't have any seat reservation you can't get on okay so don't make that mistake now the thing is if you get it on the app you get your ticket on the app this next mistake isn't a problem but if you buy a ticket like at the ticket kiosk you buy a ticket at the the ticket office a next mistake I see tourists make, especially on the short distance trains, is they don't validate the ticket. Make sure you see that yellow box, take your ticket, chunk, chunk, they'll put a date on there to validate your ticket so you don't get a fine if they check on the train. Now, another mistake I see happen a lot, especially on the trains, but pretty much anywhere, is tourists overpack when they come to France. Look, you can buy a lot of great clothes here, so don't worry about not having enough clothes. But what really becomes an issue is you have small hotel rooms, small apartments if you're doing Airbnb, but also very little space on the trains. So don't overpack when you come to France. You wanna pack light. I mean, honestly, 
two carry-on suitcases are gonna be better than one big suitcase, just because of spacing factors and your old Tetris and the trains kind of stuff. Another mistake I see tourists make, if you're lucky enough to be able to go visit a French family, is not bringing a gift when you go to that family, okay? It could be just a little something. You can pick something at the, the candy shop or the patisserie or something like that, but you wanna take a gift when you go to somebody's house. Don't just show up and say, merci. Well, it's always appreciated, but make sure you do bring something to their house. Maybe bring some flowers or, or something just to make it more of a welcoming thank you when you do go to their home. And the last mistake I wanna talk about that I see tourists make when they come here to France is expecting people to speak English or websites to be in English and all these kind of things. Look, when you come here, you need to learn a little bit of French before you come because the thing is, even though a lot of the people do speak English and they do understand you, so when you mutter under your breath, they understand you. They appreciate when tourists will speak French. Even if it's just a merci or je veux dresser, I would like this. It goes a long way to really get the people to open up because honestly, you know in our videos how much we love France, how much we love the people here, and we want you to enjoy it too. So hopefully these things help you from making mistakes when you come to France because it's a fantastic place with fantastic people and it's just fantastique. Anyway, I wish you all the best and have a great time here in France and bye from here in Strasbourg.